Hey guys, Jake from Upstate Pest here again, doing a job up in Saratoga. And we get questions all the time about ridge vents, what they are, how they work, and why it's important to seal them up for a lot of things like bats and stuff. So this is a great example here. I'm on a pretty steep roof and uh, we have a ridge vent. This ridge vent is right here. This is a Quatrix ridge vent or corrugated. It's called that because it's got like almost a core braided, uh, corrugated cardboard in here. Now this is nailed into the peak of the roof and it allows airflow to come out the top. So hot or, and or cold air can get out. Uh, the problem you have with it is it's installed with nails, which is correct, but over time those nails pop out and they start to come out and the ridge vent starts to go like this. Now when it does that, it gives spaces for things like bats or mice to get into. So in this case, right here, you can tell that this ridge vent is absolutely fine. But when you come down just a little bit, you can see it starts to get wavy and then it gets a little wavier and a little wavier and a little wavier until down here you can see where it's completely popping out by the nails. Someone tried to silicone it and caulk it back into place a while ago, which obviously did not work. But I mean, this is so big, I can literally stick my hand into it. If I can stick my hand into it, a bat or a mouse or a squirrel sure can get into it as well. So this is why even if the ridge vent is not an active entry point that bats or, or squirrels or whatever are actively using at this moment, it's still often imperative to get it taken care of correctly because once we kick them out and seal the rest of the house up, they're probably going to go back in through this spot. So that's just an example of why getting up on the roof is important and looking at all this stuff close up is important.